Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera Today I want to show the tutorial how to post from journal to general ledger Okay, so let's say we are required to prepare three accounts in general ledger Okay, the first one is cash The second one is accounts receivable And the third one is accounts payable okay so if you, we are required to prepare cash account in general ledger there are two journals involved meaning we must refer these two journals okay the first one is cash receipts journal okay the second one is cash Payments journal. Okay. Okay. Another one. If there is a beginning balance or previous balance, okay, we call it as brought forward balance. So we must take into consideration. Okay. That one we call it as BF balance or brought forward balance. Okay. Okay, another one, accounts receivable. Okay, account receivable. So we must refer, okay, the first one, if there is a brought forward balance, okay, we must take into consideration, okay. Then, uh, the journals involved here are, the first one is general journal. Okay, we must refer general journal. We must refer a general journal if there is a sales return and allowances. Sales returns and allowances. Okay. Then, second journal is cash receipts journal. Okay. So, we must refer cash receipt journal if there is a any payments from the accounts receivable okay so cash receipts journal and the third journal is sales journal sales journal okay this one we must refer because uh, there is a credit sales okay in this journal credit sales Because credit sales are recorded into sales journal. Okay. So, these things we must, uh, we must refer. Okay. If you want to prepare accounts receivable. Okay. The third one is accounts payable. Okay. The first thing we must refer is brought forward balance. If there is a brought forward balance. Okay. And then... The journals involved are okay, general journal. Okay, if there is a purchases returns, purchases returns and allowances. All right. Okay. Another journal is cash payments journal. Cash payments journal. Okay, if there is any payments we have made to our suppliers. Okay, so cash payments journal. And the third journal is purchases journal. Okay, because all the credit purchases are recorded in the purchases journal. Okay, credit purchases. Okay, that's all. So, all these things we must take into consideration. Okay, if we want to prepare these three accounts in general ledger. Okay, alright. Okay, we have prepared five journals here. Sales journal. Purchases journal, 
cash receipt journals, cash payments journal and general journals. Okay, so this is the brought forward balance or beginning balance. Okay, at January 1st, 2015. And the question is, post the journals above in the following accounts. So there are three accounts here, cash, accounts payable and accounts receivable. Okay, so now we go to the cash account. Okay, so cash account, before we prepare cash account here, we must uh, look at the three things. Okay, the first one is broad forward balance of cash accounts. And the second one, uh, we look at the, or we refer at the uh, cash receipt journal. Okay, cash receipt journal. And the third one, we refer to the cash payments journal okay all right so the first one we refer to brought forward balance so cash 12,000 so we write down okay January 1 okay BF okay and we put the balance 12,000 in the balance column 12,000 Okay, settle. Okay, next, we refer to CRJ, Cash Receipt Journal. Okay, Cash Receipt Journal. Okay, we look at the cash balance. Okay, 2352. The total amount here is 2352. So, in the cash account, okay, January 31, miscellaneous account. We write down miscellaneous account. Okay, miscellaneous account. Okay, reference we put C R J, cash receipt journal. Okay, so the amount two three five two we put in a debit column because we received that money, that account, that cash. Okay, so two three five two we put it here. Okay, all right. So the balance twelve thousand we must add. 2352. Okay, so the new balance here is 14,352. Okay, alright, settle. And then we look at the CPJ, CPJ cash payments journal here. Okay, in the cash column, the total amount is 600. Okay, so we post to the cash account. Okay, January 31. We write down miscellaneous account. Okay, reference CPJ, cash payments journal. Okay, so we put the amount in the credit column. Okay, because we paid. Okay, so credit 600. Okay, so the balance... 14,352, you, you must deduct or less 600. Then, you will get new amount or ending balance here is 13,752. Okay, so this is the ending balance of cash accounts. Okay, on 31st January 2015. Okay, settle for cash account. Okay, the next account, account receivable. Okay, so before we prepare account receivable, okay, okay, we must refer three things here. The first one is BF, brought forward balance for account receivable. The second one is GJ, general journal. Okay, if there is a sales return and allowances. Okay, and then... C R J cash receipt journal. Okay. And the last one sales journal SJ. Okay. So now okay, we refer to the brought forward balance. Okay, accounts receivable 5000 here. Okay, so 5000. So we write down here January 1. Okay, BF, okay, 
So, uh, the balance 5,000, we write down in the balance column, 5,000 account receivable. Okay. Next, we go to general journal. Okay, January 10. Okay, January 10, debit sales return and allowances, 200. And credit account receivable, Mr. Dole, 200. So, account receivable, credit. Okay. So, we post to the account receivable account. Okay, account receivable in the general ledger. Okay, so January 10 here. Okay, so write down sales return and allowances. Okay, sales returns and allowances. Okay, so reference GJ stands for general journal. Okay, so uh, sales return allowances will reduce the current receivable amount, so we must credit that amount. Okay, so the amount 200 must be credited. Okay, so credit column 200. Okay, so the balance 5000, we must deduct 200. So the new balance here is 4800. Okay, settle. Okay, so now we go to the CRJ, Cash Receipt Journal. Okay, so January 15, account receivable Mr. Dole. Okay, cash column 2352 and sales discount 48. Okay, so now uh, we post to the account receivable in general ledger. Okay, January 15. Okay, so we write down sales discount okay sales discount reference c r j cash receipt journal okay so sales discount will reduce a car receivable amount okay so we must credit credit 48 okay credit 48 and then the new balance 4800 okay deduct 48 so the new balance 4752. 4752. Okay. Alright. Okay, on January 15, the same date here. Okay, we must write down cash. Okay, because Mr. Dole paid us by cash. 2352. Okay, so we write down cash account here. Cash. And CRJ, okay, and then we credit that amount, okay. So two three five two, you put in a credit column, two three five two, okay. So four seven five two less or deduct two three five two. So we will get new amount here, new balance here, 2,400. Okay. Settle. And the last one, we refer to sales journal. Okay, sales journal. Okay. We take the uh, the total amount here, 5,000. Okay, and then we post to the account receivable in general ledger. So the date here is 31. Okay, 31. And then we write down sales, sales account, sales, because we take the amount from the sales journal. Okay, so this is the credit sales. Okay, so in the reference, we write down SJ, stand for sales journal. Okay, so this one we must debit, this amount we must debit 5000 because sales, credit sales will increase the accounts receivable okay so we must debit that amount five thousand okay so two thousand four hundred okay we must add five thousand ringgit so the new balance here the ending balance here is seven thousand four hundred okay seven thousand four hundred Okay, the ending balance or the balance on January 31 for accounts receivable. Okay, alright, settle.
for account receivable. Okay, the last one is accounts payable. So, before we prepare accounts payable, okay, we must look at the brought forward, okay, and then see PJ cash payments journal, okay, and then uh, general journal if there is a, a purchases return and allowances, okay, and the last one purchases journal, okay, all right. So the first one brought forward balance or beginning balance, so three thousand accounts payable. Beginning balance is 3,000. So, we write down January 1. Okay. Particulars, we write down BF. And we put the balance uh, 3,000 in the balance column. Okay. Next, uh, CPJ. Okay. The CPJ journal, cash payments journal. Okay. So, there is no... Uh, payment we have made to our suppliers okay so we go to the next general journal okay so in the general journal also don't have any uh, purchases written and allowances all right so now we go to the last one purchases journal okay purchases journal here okay uh, we take the big amount here, okay, the total amount here, 3,500. Okay, this is the purchases, credit purchases. So, we post to the accounts payable, okay, the date here is January 31. Okay, so we write down purchases, purchases, purchases account, all right. Reference PJ, stand for purchases journal. Okay, so this amount, okay, 3,500, we must credit it. Okay, that amount must be credited. Okay, because it will increase accounts payable. Okay, because of purchases, uh, credit purchases will increase the accounts payable. So we must put in the credit balance, okay, credit columns. 3,500. Okay, 3,500. So now, the ending balance here, okay, 3,000 plus 3,500. Okay, so the total amount here is 6,500. Okay, this is the ending balance of accounts payable. Okay, 6,500. Alright, so settle for general ledger. Okay, this is how we post from journal to general ledger. Alright, thank you.